Hello and a very warm welcome to you to Jude Chi Living a Colourful Life and thank you for joining me today. So we're sharing time today and I would love to explain a little bit more about hand reflexology to you and it is an opportunity and quite easy for us to do ourselves. Foot reflexology is wonderful but not always easy for us all to get to our feet with comfort whereas we can usually work with our hands. So I want to let you know a little bit more about that and I'm going to be doing a lovely little series on hand reflexology so do check into the other videos um, on the channel and if you don't want to miss anything please subscribe and if you want a little ting coming into your phone when there's something pops up new in my channel then you can press the little bell and that will let you know that there's something new and interesting to nourish your well-being. So welcome to today and thank you for being here. And I would like today for us to pay a little bit of attention to the area around our neck and our shoulders. And if that's an area that you find a lot of tension in, then this could be a very helpful video for you and I will be helping you learn techniques that can really ease that and give you a little bit more support in that area and to help with your mobility. So before we begin, I would like us to do and share a little technique that lets you see just what your mobility is in that area. So I invite you to sit up fairly straight, fairly comfortably if that's possible and very simply turn your head round to one side as if you're going to look to the side and looking as far as you comfortably can without feeling that there's any strain it's not a competition so looking and check what is the kind of last thing you can comfortably and easily see on that side and then let's bring our head back Please don't do anything that hurts. This is just a little check out what's happening with you. Practice. So turning to the other side. I'm much tighter on that side because I can't see quite as far. So I'm very aware of that. And I would ask you to notice that also if you have one side that's more tight than the other. And that will become important in a few moments. So, because my left side is tighter on me, I'm going to work on my left hand first. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold up my thumb. And all I'm going to say to you just now is that in reflexology, this thumb relates to the head and the neck. So let's do something together on that area. So I'm going to take my other thumb and I'm going to do some little bite size walking techniques with that thumb, if that's possible for you to do. And it's like a little, sometimes people call it thumb walking, sometimes people call it like a little caterpillar. You can call it what you like. You can go in any direction you like also. And if you don't feel like doing that, it's equally fine simply to massage your thumb squeeze it and you will notice that there are some quite pointy bits and you think oh I noticed that and that's okay you can just work into that area and definitely all around that ball of your thumb working in there you can use your fingers if you want so really what we're doing is bringing attention to the whole of the thumb I'm also going to stretch that thumb Please don't do anything that's really painful. But taking yourself to a comfortable limit is what I'm going to suggest. But giving lots of attention all around the thumb so that every single area of the thumb, and now I'm going round the thumb and the back of the thumb. So I'm doing the pad of the thumb and I'm also doing across the nail which actually represents the hair in reflexology. So I'm giving it a really, really good work through. 
another few little stretches. Now we've only been doing that for about a moment, maybe a minute and a half. Stretching and stretching and because that was my side that was just a little bit more inflexible, feeling a little bit stiffer, a little bit tighter, then I'm going to give that a little bit more. And then I'm going to brush down my arm, brush down that thumb, give it a good old shake. Do another brush and a shake. And when I put my arms down by my sides, and I'd ask you to do the same, that left side feels much more zingy, much more energetic. I wonder how yours feels. Maybe you'll leave a little comment for me and let me know what's happening with that hand. But I'm very aware that I've worked on my left thumb and I need to work on my right thumb now. So I'm going to move over and work on that thumb, on the other one. So I am doing those little bite size movements, thumb walking, and I'm using a little bit of pressure to do that. And if I find a sensitive bit and think, oh, that feels a bit pointy, then I am going to use my thumb to do a little bit of circling there. I hope you can see. And then carrying on and I'm going to make sure that I really squeeze it and stretch it. You can stretch it a bit. Taking care not to do anything that's painful. And I'm just literally working out that whole thumb area. Going to do that nail again, which in reflexology speaks about the hair, so that encourages some circulation to the scalp. So there we are. I feel that I've given both thumbs a really good stretch out. If you want to spend a little bit more time on that, that's absolutely fine. I'm going to give that hand a shake and I'm going to brush, brush, brush that down. Give both hands a little shake and then just rest my hands on my lap and let's see what's happening when we do that little practice of turning to the side. So I'm going to turn my head first to the right. And see what happens. Wow. And gently to the left, which was the side that I was finding more tricky. And back to the front. And I hope that somewhere out in the world there are a few of you going, wow, that is amazing. Every time I do that, I just think, how incredible is that? That by working on the thumbs so thoroughly and giving them a really good massage, it loosens up the whole of the neck that I could see so much further to the right and further to the left. So that is such a simple practice that I am so delighted to share with you. Um, and it's something not to do lots it's something that you could do a little bit of each day but it's sometimes better to do a little a couple of times a day or once a day and that just then keeps the neck so much more flexible but it's not something that you want to be doing all the time lots and for ages and ages on end but it's certainly something that could become a little daily practice and hey it took us four minutes five minutes so it's not a lot of time it's possible to do it anywhere you know you can do that when you're traveling obviously not if you're driving but you can certainly easily give that little stretch if you feel you would personally benefit from more flexibility in that area of the neck so a wonderful little technique and it does also, even just by the fact we're working in that area, sometimes you will find your shoulders loosen automatically. But I will do a separate little um, clip that will be quite helpful to loosen the shoulders.
So there are my magic moments of helping you to find more comfort, find more flexibility and feel that neck much, much easier and much more loose. And the other little tip I'm going to give you is that posturally, it is so helpful if we think of the back of our neck being long. So I'm gonna just turn my head to the side for a minute. And if we can think about the back of our neck being long, it sometimes means that we drop our chin a little bit. But the lovely thing is that all the little vertebrae that are in here don't get all crunched up by us pushing our neck back. So it's very helpful to think of having a long back of neck. In the Alexander technique, they speak about having a long, wide neck. And, and that really helps us to have that open openness between the, the bridge that connects our thinking mind and our doing body and our doing body and our thinking mind. So our neck is actually really important. It's not only what we see with, but it's where all the nerves, it's where everything from the brain passes through the neck to travel into the body. So it's a really important area to... Um, keep in good health and good well-being and give it a little bit of love and care and attention and you don't even need to touch it to do that. You simply work with your thumbs. So thumbs up for that technique and I'd love to hear how you get on and um, thank you for watching, thank you for sharing time on Judy Chi Living a Colourful Life and I will also create a lovely little video clip that is helpful for releasing shoulder and arm tension and helping us to bring attention to that area without feeling like we need to do any massive exercise regime or stretching program. That's all wonderful, but I can also help you to do that from the comfort of your armchair. Thanks for being here. Do leave me comments. Do let me know if there's anything else you would like me to offer you um, to support your well-being and to help you to live a colourful life also. So thank you and it's bye from Jude Chi. Well done and I will use that thumb to turn off the video.